So when we started our Ethiopian restaurant, right next to us was a head shop. A head shop means a place that deals in basically marijuana paraphernalia. And it had like, you know, like, let's say the colors of Rastafarianism are also the colors of Ethiopia. There's a connection. So my idea was like, well, maybe some of these folks, they come to get their bongs and all that stuff. Yeah. And it was, a, you know, it was a cool place. They were, it was a cool guy who owned it. Um, mm -hmm. So we had, I, I went on whatever, eBay or something and got a picture of Haile Selassie framed, this yeah. famous mm -hmm. emperor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Little did I know that the folks that we employed were largely Eritreans. And Eritrea was part of the emperor and the empire of Ethiopia, but broke away and was extremely anti Haile Selassie. <laughs> so, so I did this as a kind of, you know, just to get, you know, because I wanted something Ethiopian. Like, what if you're saying, like, oh, I want to decorate an Ethiopian restaurant, what are you going to get? Right. So I was like, well, Haile Selassie. And then I actually printed out his like official title. King of Kings, Lion of the Tribe of Judah, all this kind of stuff that, that emperors used to have in their name. Uh, Anyways, I didn't think about it and I thought they would understand. So, so we came in one day and the picture had been turned facing the wall because they had gotten together and said like, <laughs> I think we need to send this guy a message. And I was like, well, that's odd. How did that happen? And they were like, uh, you don't know, you know, I, I can't do their accent. You don't know about, he was not a good man. He is in the pit. He he died under the pigsty, fifty feet under a well, or something like. Which may or may not be true. I don't know. But they, turned, <laughs> they had there was no love lost. But we left them. that picture up, didn't we? Yeah, I was like, guys, you want to buy me a picture of someone else? That's fine, but this is for the customer. And then we had a guy call, <laughs> and he goes, "This guy calls up, right?" And I, you know, it's like, okay, I'll take a three three of these three of those and Jera plates right what all this terrific food right but yeah. <laughs> clearly so i answer the phone he's like are you a, a fake ethiopian right something like that and i'm like hello <laughs> and i'm clearly not even ethiopian right <laughs> do you believe the emperor Haile Selassie is the real judah lion of judah and i'm like well you know i don't i don't really mean it i mean i uh, I, ha I don't have any real strong opinion either way. And he's like, you are fake Ethiopian. I will uncover and expose you everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, so can I take your order? <laughs> you know, it's utterly ridiculous. Remember our most famous, our most famous Ethiopian snafu? Yeah, oh my God, you've got to <laughs> tell them. So we used to have, so in Ethiopian food, maybe I could bring it up. Ethiopian food is like these platters. This Crazy. Is Ethiopian food. So we had an Ethiopian restaurant. We had it so that you could just get the vegetable <coughs> dishes so there was no meat. And we called that a veg combo for two. So, so we put them in a pizza box. Yeah, and it's like a pizza because it's round. Yep. Very popular. We lost money on every single one that went out the door. Yep. So good. Oh, swordfish you wouldn't believe. Top quality spices, always used olive oil. Raw and that's man. why we went out of business. But so, so we had these pizza boxes, right? And on the top, we'd write veg combo for two or meat combo for two. Yeah, well, you write vegetarian combo for two, so right. you keep the order separate. So then, so one of our, one of our delivery drivers. <laughs> no, it wasn't the delivery driver. It was that old guy. Well, actually, I, I didn't see the box. You saw it. So what happened? <laughs> yeah, so... So their spelling is not always the best. So he would write on it in big, in big, you know, look at the magic marker, V A G, <laughs> com C O M B, one or two. So you give it to a customer, and they're like, "Excuse me, Vagcom, <laughs> right?" I mean, there were sometimes when we had we like you know because we wouldn't catch it. You're busy, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Oh, sorry, a little misspelling there," but don't you worry a bit. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing about that that has anything to do with that. <laughs> Vag combo for two. Poor Max will take the Vag combo for two. <laughs> 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 the Vag combo. Vag combo.